So probably about 1971, I was getting ready to go off to college and we moved into this house. And this is 14th Street. It, used to, it still is a close-knit family where neighbor looks after neighbor. And we still have that feeling. A lot of the old homes have been purchased by developers, and that's the problem. Um, they're, just, they're just waiting for the old people to whatever happens. And, but this is like the last affordable housing is in this area, 13th and 14th Street. River Park is one of the last options in Naples for low-income families. But among rising prices and development, Residents fear that a pattern of displacement that haunted the early days of black settlements in Naples is rearing its head again. One of the first black sections of Naples was known as the Ditch Bank, a small housing community where Creighton's Cove stands today. Black residents lived in the settlement until Fort Myers contractor J.C. McDonald sought to develop the land. McDonald built a housing community as a replacement for the ditch bank known as McDonald's Quarters. Many former ditch bank residents were forced to move to the quarters, which were built without proper plans and had abysmal upkeep. Eventually, the quarters were raised by the city and many residents moved into homes in River Park. Modern River Park's demographics have shifted drastically, with more families moving on in search of cheaper living. For the neighborhood, more change seems all but inevitable. But if you are a viewer and would like to share the story of your neighborhood or city's history, please contact me at 239-403-6170. My name is Andrew Wigdor, and I'm a reporter with Naples Daily News.